welcome once again in this video we are going to be learning how to what compute for our input and output vat vat input and vat output what computation yes we did a theoretical aspect of it in our last video and here is now is what show you how to compute how to identify tax input and tax output and how to compute it now here is a question a VAT account presented to us VAT account shows VAT charge on food and drinks VAT paid on kitchen material VAT charge on accommodation VAT paid on drinks for resale VAT charge on other services, this amount, VAT paid on furniture and fitting, VAT paid on legal fee, amount remitted to FRS and balance as at the time. Now, and here we are told to compute the amount of VAT that is due to further inland revenue service or that is due to the tax authority. From this, we will compute the amount that is due for the federal land revenue or the tax authority now from this one now we will check the two aspects because i told you about input vat and output vat input vat is when you what you purchase with the vat element output vat is when you sell with the vat element and when you purchase with the vat element the the tax authority is owing you when you sell with the VAT element, you are not owing the tax authority. So the difference between the two now will not determine who balance who. So in this computation now, we are going to check who will balance who. Is it the tax authority that will balance us or we are going to remit to the, the tax authority? After we must have deducted our differences in the input and the output. So in this video, just stay calm and we are going to work it to get now here we are the tax year under review let's use 2012 as the tax year hope you're seeing it the tax year is 2012 now the first one is what vat charge on food and drink now vat is charge when do you charge you charge when you are what selling you understand you charge vat when you are the one selling the product out so here now selling out is what vat output so here now we'll come and put food and drinks how much 1540 1540 let's check the next one is vat paid for kitchen materials when do you pay for vat it's when you are buying, when you are purchasing. So that is tax input. Hmm? There you come. That is tax input. You leave it. Let us concentrate on tax output first. Let's mark it like this so that we can differentiate it. What charge on accommodation? is when you are what selling charge vats on accommodation so this one is tax output we say accommodation how much two five one zero two five one zero then VAT paid on drinks for resale. 
leave it this tax input we are interested in tax output for now VAT charge on other services you charge VAT when you are what selling I hope you are getting it you are getting it you charge VAT when you are selling and you pay for VAT when you are buying so here other services 9 10 other services nine give you nine ten let's go for that VAT paid on furniture and equipment let's stick it VAT paid on legal fee VAT input let's stick it now amount remitted to FRS let's hold on here now let's sum up this amount this will give you one five four zero plus two five one zero plus nine one zero this will give you four nine six four nine four nine six yeah you have your four nine six zero now it's time this deduct you are seeing it deduct input vat let's start from here vat paid for kitchen materials 880 kitchen give you eight 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 call me again what of handle this what paid on drinks for resale paid on drinks for resale how much hundred naira drinks for a sale for a sale 100 naira here is it now what is the next one now pay attention VAT paid on furniture and equipment for rooms now this is from everything it is a hotel business now they say VAT paid on furniture and equipment for room this one now any capital that can be capitalized like now furniture and equipment you paid it when you when you want to buy the furniture and the equipment you paid alongside with the vat but you are not reselling furniture and equipment you are not reselling it you are using it for the purpose of the business and they are there as your asset so you recapitalize it into your asset so you cannot deduct the input vat that is what the law is saying you cannot deduct the input vat because you are not reselling it if you buy to resell then you can deduct your input vat. but since you, you you bought it to use it for the purpose of that business you are not going to what deduct the input vat so this amount here we are not going to deduct it we are not going to deduct it now let's go to the next one vat paid on legal fee slash professional fee this amount too will not be deducted because the professional fee you receive is for your consumption you are not receiving it to sell it out to somebody else no it's for your consumption so the law state that since you have received the professional fee for your consumption and you are the one that consumed it you are not deducting you are not going to 
deduct it. So these two will not be deducted. But the two are what are seen as what input vat. But we are not going to deduct them because the law says so. Are you getting me? So this is what we will now have. Here we will now have add this and this will give you 980. This minus this will give you 3980. This will now give you the tax due. This will not give you the tax due. And again, you now see, see something. Check, see something here. They now say amount remitted to FRS. Maybe on your own, you have remitted some amount to FRS. You will not come here and deduct it. You say amount remitted. Amount remitted. Is how much? Amount remitted two thousand. Are you getting it? Two thousand minus this will give you one nine eight. We give you one nine eight. To give you one nine eight. So this is the amount the balance remitted balance remittable remittable to who to frs so this is the amount sorry you're not seeing it so so sorry so, so, so. yes this is the amount now you are now remitting to the tax authority this is your output. Here is your input. So which one is I? Mind you, I said something. When your input is higher than your output, you are going to remit the balance to the world, to the tax authority. But when your input is higher than the output, the tax authority will balance you. Now, which is higher? The output. The output is higher than the input. So, you, we are now, Mr. Israel, Nigeria Limited, we now remit this amount. This amount. This amount here to the tax authority. So, that is how input and output VAT works. Is that clear? That is how input and output VAT work. Please, if you have any question, any question, don't fail to ask. If you have any question, don't fail to ask. Put it on the comment section. I will definitely attend to it because we are here to help each other. Yes, and again, don't fail to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe and God will bless you. So see you in our next video. Thank you for coming around.